Hello and welcome to the channel. This is my bedroom and welcome to the keyboard. As always, we'll start with the paint on the walls. As you can see behind me and in um, our mirror cupboard, which we are here when we first moved in, we painted the walls a really dark, vibrant green colour. It's quite a bold choice, especially for a bedroom. But in a way, if you can't be bold in your own bedroom, then where can you be in terms of decorating? After all, you can just shut the door and not allow any of the to come and see us. We particularly like this colour because it's got real depth and vibrancy to it. And even though it's blue, which is often a cold colour, this is actually quite warm. It's kind of tending towards the purple end of the spectrum. We also made the very bold step of painting not only the walls, but also the woodwork. Blue, as you can see on the outside of the um, cupboard, we were able to do this because the paint we were using for both the walls and the woodwork was from the Ecos company. And Ecos are again an eco paint company that provides paint in a range of colours that suit both woodwork and walls. The Feng Shui line in particular has a very matte finish that you can put on um, woodwork and on walls in fact and it's very good for using in kitchens because it's can wipe it clean. I've been very impressed with Ecos paint uh, for many years, both in our old house um, and we've used it again here. It's very easy to put on, much like ordinary paint and the colours have that depth and vibrancy to it that many other eco paints just don't have. Other features of this room, well, you can also see in the mirror the reflection of the curtains. I've decided to add a bit more light into the room by um, using unlined curtains, which I have to say that I have some issues about allowing quite a lot of cold in. But both the yellow and the green provide an interesting focal point to the room during the day when the sun is shining. The yellow curtains if any of you watched the spare room video, you'll notice it's the same um, material. And yes, they come from here. So what we did is we used a cutters while they were making those curtains for the headboard in the spare room. IKEA's curtains are fantastic because they come in such long years that you can make them fit whatever you need you have. I really wanted to use linen because in terms of sustainability, linen is a fantastic product. To grow flax, you use less water and less um, pesticides than if you were growing cotton. And um, even though it's very difficult to crop to harvest, it does then make a very natural and um, textured material. I really want to get some undyed linen, um, but unfortunately my budget is really textured, so instead I find these very nice things from the chair. I matched them with uh, a bolt of cloth that I found in the shop in Marshalls many years ago, which I made into curtain, and have now been following us around the world. I just love them. You will see that it's like a patchwork um, created by Indian craftspeople, and they've got three really different designs. Um, so I hold it open, so you'll see all the different um, colours and designs on the patchwork. And the sunlight filters through that, um, and because we get such long hours of sunshine during the summer months, we will often be lying here at 11 o'clock at night, still having the sun filtering through the curtains. It's quite beautiful. On the, art, on the walls, we have um, an interesting collection of bits and pieces of artwork. Reflected in the mirror, you'll just about see um, a painting which I was given well, the painting which I found when I was 12, and my mother very kindly framed this. And that's also a very kind of mirror. Another print that she gave me was this beautiful quilt. It made my craftspeople in Botswana um, a potato printing method. And I got this when I was 13, and it's travelled with me um, in across the world actually, and I still use it. I love the fact that you can have stuff. For years and years and years, and it still creates a novelty factor, it still um, provides a use for warmth, um, even though it has many different uses over the years. Well, that's everything for today. 